Hello everyone, this is Carrie, and today I'm working on one of a set of four Halloween themed dolls I did for this October. So one of my favorite things to do with Ever After High dolls is to make them at, end up with sort of a natural look, and especially, I especially love ginger girls, so with little red heads, with red freckles, so I was super excited to take advantage of the orange Halloween theme and make a little ginger girl here. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I did the freckles along with the face up and then the final look at the end. I also have some footage of a hairstyle that I did with her first. I started out doing a sort of a horned uh, hairstyle with little horns, but uh, I changed it up to pigtails at the end. So let me know in the description box or in the comment section below which you prefer. So as usual, after a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, I went in and did the eye shape. For this one, I did a big round eye, but with some of the others, I changed those up a little bit. For her skin tone and for the contouring and lip color, I added a little bit more burnt sienna in there to give it an orange tone. And I pretty much finish the entire face up before I add the freckles. So as you can see, the lips are, they're red, but they have a little bit more of an orange tone than my typical natural lip. I'm going in with some terracotta in Derwent watercolor pencils to sharpen up those lines. And as usual, my supplies that I've used are in the description box below. And along with affiliate links. So if you use those links to make any purchases, a small percentage will go to us, so that would be greatly appreciated. So continuing in with the contouring, giving her some eyelids. And when I, when I would normally add the blush here, I'm now going in with the blush across the nose where I want the freckles to go. I'm using the Pan Pastel Colorless Blender to blend that in so it doesn't look so harsh. And carrying the blush above the eyebrow area. At the balls of the cheeks or apples of the cheeks, I use a little bit more pink than I would across the nose and blending that in. Always like to make sure the ears are finished as well. And giving some highlights with a white pencil and I'll blend that out with a Q-tip. After sealing it with a couple more coats of Mr. Super Clear, then I'll go in on the eyebrows so I can be safe in any erasing so I don't erase what's underneath. And then I'm going to add some detail to those eyebrows with some white and terracotta. I used to wear a glove on my right hand, but I find it's difficult to draw with that. I just have to be very cautious not to touch the, the doll with my skin. It can smudge or um, add oils to the, to the doll that we don't want there, of course. So going in on the iris, I decided to give her more of a, a brown coppery eye. And I used some different shades of brown, like brown ochre, yellow ochre, uh, chocolate brown, Durant watercolor pencils, as well as some of the copper and bronze colored Derwent metallic watercolor pencils. And again, all of those supplies are listed in the description box below. If there's something you're looking for that you don't see, let me know and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Here I'm using a teeny tiny uh, Faber-Castell brown 
The Faber Castells tend to be uh, the aqua. They're I think they're called aquarelle, and they tend to be a harder lead than the Derwent. So if I want to keep a really sharp tip, then I use those. And here's the metallics I was talking about. Making sure that white of the eye stays super white, giving extra layers and more detail in the eye. They're using a watercolor or a pencil extender that's also mentioned in the description box below. So to make the freckles, what I've done is I've watered down some of my uh, some craft paint, and I use it's like acrylic craft paint. I water it down to about two or three different levels uh, of uh, like super watery and then medium watery and then thicker and then I'll use a, uh, a dotter and, a, and sometimes a toothpick to get those dots. That gives it more of a natural look than as if, if you were just dotting those on there with a pencil or with a uh, just regular paint. If you water it down, it tends to make the freckles look a little bit more natural. And so I took those right across her nose and into her cheeks and with varying sizes. So here I'm working on the hair. For all styles, well most styles anyway, I'll go through, this is my acrylic and alpaca yarn it's almost 100% alpaca actually and I'll uh, I've already thinned it out using a dog, dog brush and now I go in through layer by layer adding a little bit of unscented hair gel once I smooth that in then I'm just taking some pieces to create sort of a, a horn um, hairstyle I ended up going with some twisted pigtails, which I liked much better, but I thought I would still leave this footage in because it's an option for hairstyling, and I rarely get a chance to record the hairstyling because I try so many different things before I come up with the final look that it never, I just end up recording things that, that I don't need. <laughs> so there I just made some sort of like a twisted horn. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to leave like a little pigtail out there or if I wanted to wrap the pigtails around it and I just really wasn't digging it so I ended up making the pigtails that are were twisted so let me know what you think should I have left these little horns or do you like the pigtails better just curious so here I have the wings with the magnets on the back that I'm showing the final look and attaching her so I hope you liked this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great Halloween and October. Talk to you later. Bye.